Now to Peacock Pride, the St. Peter's University Cinderella run may have come to an end this past Sunday, but Jersey City's excitement mm -hmm. kept going on. Yes, a huge show of support this afternoon. Hundreds of people lined the streets cheering them on during a parade that wrapped up with a rally and a special presentation. We have team coverage tonight. Nick Calloway will have more on the community impact, but we're starting with Jenna DeAngelis, who is live in Jersey City. Jenna. Dick and Christine, not only did the team make March Madness history, but they put the small school and Jersey City on the map. The team thanked the community for their support through the tournament, and that love only continued here today. Jersey City bursting with peacock pride. Celebrating a streak that caught so many by surprise. Everyone loves an underdog story. St. Peter's University alumna Sally Malad went to Philly to cheer on the men's basketball team to the Elite Eight. Even though UNC beat us, everyone was like, you know, we were rooting for you guys. So it was amazing. It was just something that you can't really explain. She joined so many lining John F. K. Boulevard to support the team in a parade featuring bands, floats, local schools, and of course, the city's new celebrities, the players. <laughs> While teams are typically celebrated for tournament wins, Jersey City Mayor Stephen Phillips said their accomplishments this season are reason enough to rally. We caught up with him during the parade. It's great for the city, it's great for uh, the team, it's great for St. Peter's University. We just couldn't be more proud. The team was the Cinderella story of the tournament. Be in Kentucky in the first round, Purdue in the Sweet 16, and becoming the first number 15 seed in NCAA history to reach Elite Eight. We didn't even think we could make it this far. Look at this. The celebration continued with a ceremony. The proud players thanking their supporters who surrounded the stage. We're so happy with what we accomplished, but uh, make no mistake. Make no mistake. None of it would have been possible without everybody here. Although Coach Holloway is leaving St. Peter's for Seton Hall, where he was once a star player, he's certainly leaving his mark here. We made history, Peacock Nation. I love you guys. Thank you. At the rally, the mayor also gave the team the key to the city. It's also important noting that the weather really held up for the parade. It's getting a bit rainy out here. Now, as far as the team goes, let's hope that momentum and, of course, the support here continues into next season. We're live in Jersey City. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. All right, Jen. Of course, it has to because it's going to be a lot of fun next year, too. But